I want to give him a kiss on the cheek and I leave the carriage. You go to kiss him on the cheek, but he pulls back and you get out of the carriage. Am I hurt by that? <laughs> uh, you punched JP, okay? I was just um, asking if she had a watch. You... What motive does the chef have? I don't He's think Italian. he has a motive. Oh, never mind. He is Italian. <laughs> That's not a motive! <laughs>
Whatever you may choose, please allow him to return to the carriage to tend to our four-legged friend, Farkle, every so often, as he's not being paid to do any of the previously stated. And please do not read this aloud to the carriage. Uh-oh. Be safe, gentlemen. Stay warm and do not perish. The letter is signed by Yuri Brovodo, owner of Piss, Private Investigations for Stabbings and Slaughter. It's dated Uh-oh. October 31st. Wait, we work for Piss? 1867. Yeah. You're the Piss Boys. <laughs> you're, the, <laughs> you're the Piss Boys. <laughs> I wanna... Let's move on to your characters and traits. Charlie, you yep. are the leader of the group. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> You can order oh. other detectives to do tasks. They can resist, but it's minus two on their roll. Oh my if God. you roll a one, you are no longer the leader, but the clown, which is minus five on all of your rolls. Oh no. I'm okay with okay. that. Ross, you are the brains. You are smarter than the rest of the group. All of your resistant rolls are plus two. Max, you are the muscle. Anytime you roll for something that requires strength, you get plus two. Can I ask a question? Sure. Why did I need to be careful around a body? Do I have some hidden necrophilia trait or something? It's up to you to decide. I, I don't, I don't want you. that. I just, <laughs> the letter said like, something about me being careful next to a body. I didn't know where it was yeah, going. I, yeah, I, I guess you already know something about you that maybe you don't even know about you when you're drunk. What the f- And then JP, you're the wild card. Oh! Uh, every time you want to perform an action, you roll for it. If you pass, you get plus two on your roll. But if you fail, you get minus five on your roll. Oh, great. So Ooh. anytime you ro- you, you're going to roll, there's a pre-roll for wild, wild card. So additionally, you guys have traits. Max, I'm going to start with you. Okay. Uh, you are infinitely confused with how a hammer works. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ross... You feel the need to clean up after everyone. Charlie, you believe anything you're told. <laughs> and he's the oh, leader. No. <laughs> yeah. and he's the oh, freaking no. leader. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> and then JP, you are an ex clock tower repairman anxious to fix any clock. Okay. So, thunder cracks. The sky begins to spit sleet down onto the carriage. Carl, the coachman, hops off the carriage and opens the door for you. He says, I'm not helping you guys, but if you get stumped, perhaps I can provide some insight. Would you like to get out? So he's not going to help us, but if we need help, he'll help us. He's not coming in the mansion with you. I I, I got that much. It's just, you know, a little redundant, but whatever. You you can come outside to him and ask him a question if need be. Can I roll to see how close we are, like me and him personally? Sure, your relationship status? Yeah. You're pretty good friends. All right. You've worked together. He's He's been your your coachman for quite some time now. All We've right. We've had lunch together. I want to give him a kiss on the cheek and I leave the carriage. You go to kiss him on the cheek, but he pulls back and you get out of the carriage. Am I hurt by that? <laughs> uh, I feel hurt you? by that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, you're you're pretty used to being denied a kiss, apparently. Oh, okay. No. Oh, oh. Can I shake his hand firmly? Okay, JP, you go to shake his hand firmly. As you get out, you shake his hand. You, you say, put her there, and uh, you guys bond. You get plus one on your Carl friendship. Let's go. Ross, do you want to get out next? Uh, sure. I'm, I'm just going to go for, like, a knuckle touch. Okay, knuckle touch. You pound it. He's never seen a an exchange of hands in this way because it's 1867. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your friendship is a lot stronger now because of it. It feels like you guys have your own thing. In, in my defense, it's the 1800s, so that was like, you know, acceptable back then. To kiss? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll get out and I'll, I'll give him a coin for his troubles. Okay. Like a bit of a tip, you know? <laughs> you get out and you try to give Carl a tip, and he scoffs at the small tip that you've given him. <laughs> I'll give him another coin then. I'm sorry, Carl. <laughs> scoffs even, even harder. I'll give him another. You know what? I know what this is. <laughs> you know what? I take a coin off him. <laughs> you take a coin back. <laughs> he scoffs more. <laughs> I'm going to scoff harder and walk away. Scoff, you try to scoff harder, but it was not as good as Carl's and you <laughs> oh walk away. Oh my lord. Um, 
So, Wait, do I have do I have one of those fancy walking sticks and a top hat? Um, would you like to? Yes. Sure, I got you. And a monocle. Oh my god. You told Oh my god, you got all of that. You got all of that. <laughs> yes. Um, just I would say those things in particular won't be a utility for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Aesthetic okay. dog. It just wants aesthetic. to look like yeah. a pompous asshole. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yes. Getting, uh, you know, getting into my character. <laughs> sure. So, you dust yourselves off and turn towards the mansion. It's massive, surrounded by dead trees covered in snow. It's the most 19th century looking mansion you've ever seen. The chimney on top has smoke coming out of it. Two large stone fountains sit out front, covered in ice crystals formed by the winter climate. You find yourself standing on the end of a pathway that leads to the front gate of the mansion. The path continues on past the gate and leads to the front, large wooden double door. A lantern hangs aside the threshold of the door, lit, the flame dwindling from the wind slipping through the lantern's cracked glass. I punched Charlie in his face, breaking his <laughs> What <monocle>. the hell? <laughs> okay, that's a plus two. <laughs> what? Uh, tr oh, yeah. Charlie, any resistance? Uh, is this a normal thing for me? <laughs> I just want to break your body. It might be. Who knows? <laughs> I'm in character, Charlie. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dodge out of the way of Max's punch. Okay, you dodge. Yeah. Rolling for Max. Ooh. Rolling for Charlie. Oh my God, Max, you only won because of your bonus. Okay. Yes. So you Ooh. you punch Charlie, um, slightly bruising his cheek, but his monocle stays intact. <laughs> oh no! I'm coming for that monocle. <laughs> I order Max to knock on the door. No resistance. No resistance. All right. So you just do that. So, um, well the. I'm sorry, you can't reach the door right now. There's a gate before the door. <laughs> I'll knock Max on the knock gate. On, yeah, knock on the gate. Okay. So you walk towards the mansion's gate. It's black, rusted, and made of steel. It is locked. You hear a voice in, in the near distance on the opposite side of the fence. Can I help you? A man approaches carrying a scythe. Charlie, this is perfect for you. Ah. <laughs> a man approaches carrying a scythe. He's dressed in canvas overalls, a burlap shirt, and a leather jacket lined with wool. He's bearded and bald with a fresh cut along his cheek. Let me just, a in parentheses reminder, Yori, the guy who wrote the letter, he wants you to identify yourselves to every person you speak with, okay? Okay. So just at, for legal purposes. Okay. Charlie, as the uh, as the leader, I feel like you should introduce yourself first. Plus, these guys got a scythe. That, that is very true. I was going to uh, say, just let them know the piss boys are here. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Uh, we're, we're from the piss company. We're here to deal with your, uh, your uh, murder issue. Uh, I'm Charlie. These are my underlings. Uh, we've got Max, <laughs> JP, and Ross. Oh, you're the investigators. He tracks through some clumps of snow and gets closer. Please pardon the ground's appearance. I'm doing my best to get it presentable by the end of the week. I believe The man you. takes a key ring out of his pocket. It's almost full of keys. Uh, he sifts through the keys one by one, looking for the one he has in mind. Could I he attempt takes... to pit pocket him while he's doing that? <laughs> um, I will roll for it. It's not really... You you try to uh you try to reach in through the gate to pickpocket him and he's he notices you and gets and is quite confused and he says so please I I'm just trying to open the gate here for <laughs> okay. you no don't worry about it man I was, I was just checking you had a bug on you <laughs> okay so he takes out one key and attempts to slip it into the gate but <laughs> it, it's it's the wrong key okay so he takes out oh. another key and he attempts to slip that one into the gate and it's also the wrong key oh so he takes out another key and he tries to slip that into the gate and success the man slips the key into the gate's lock and unlocks it swinging the gate <laughs> inward please come on in i'm, I'm nathan the groundskeeper for the malivores i understand the impact you're naked of the situation 
He said Nathan. <laughs> Nathan. Nathan. Oh, I, I was wondering, because you're wearing clothes, dude. You gotta, like, I don't know. No, no, I'm I'm not naked. I'm Nathan. Okay. <laughs> I'm the groundskeeper for the Malivores. I understand the impact of the situation, and I'm not allowed inside the mansion until further notice. So I've been touching up around the grounds as much as I can, although it is freezing out here. Perhaps I should take a much-hinted rest after I finish a few chores. When yeah. you're prepared to enter the mansion, knock on the door with three knocks and a staff member should let you in take these he hands you his key ring and he says maybe it will assist can i attempt to whisper something to charlie okay charlie i'm pretty sure this guy did it oh no <laughs> so you lean into charlie and say that and uh he does not overhear you you know would you like to ask him any you. questions uh i i would how how did you get that cut on your face most of my work tends to be outside. I'm not exactly sure what I had happened, but uh, I was tending to some high grass on the east side of the mansion. And he faces the house and points to the right of the mansion. Uh, most of my work tends to be outside, so next thing I recall is getting a smack across my face and waking up. God knows how long after. It was uh, probably a littling from the town playing one of their over-the-top pranks on me, but it does seem weird to have happened before they locked up. I would like to ask yeah. him something. Huh? Did you kill the guy in there? Well, straight to the point. Oh, anything about a murder? I was never even inside the house today. I didn't, I didn't expect you to admit to it, so that's fine. I believe you. Can I ask if he has any clocks? You asked Nathan about any clocks, and he... he uh, hold on, let me roll. He says, sorry, I don't, I don't keep the time on me. No, I'm not asking for the time. I'm asking if he has any clocks. He doesn't have any mansion. clocks, JP. <laughs> okay, I just want to know. W would I be able um, to have a, a closer look at his scythe? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan of uh, that particular farm equipment. So you uh, lean into his scythe and ask him about it. He says, most of my work tends to be outside, you see. This is just one of my many tools I use on the landscape around the property. It's perfect for trimming down any high grass on the property, but it is quite dangerous to use. Do I see anything like odd with the scythe maybe a red stain or two you know never know uh you inspect the scythe it is in pristine condition okay lovely lovely scythe very very good very good uh i would like to say one last thing to the guy mm -hmm. um this is official piss business sir i'm gonna need to confiscate your scythe for evidence <gasps> <laughs> You're not a police officer, number one. I didn't say I was. Okay. Well, he responds with, uh, well, most of my work tends to be outside, so I need the scythe, so, yeah. <laughs> I fuck you too. Let's, I knock on the door. How many times? <laughs> Three times. Uh, just a reminder, uh, there's a couple of uh, fountains out front. Oh. Leader. I, yeah. There's fountains. I, I know there's fountains. They look very nice. We should check these fountains out, Charlie. Why would you want to check the fountains out? They're fountains. I want to look in them. Hey, okay, Ross, do you want to check? Yeah, yeah you, uh, you go uh, look in them. I want to inspect the left fountain. You want okay. the JP, go and inspect the right fountain. Okay. Max, <laughs> hold my hand. I resist. Ross, you check the fountain on the left and find nothing. JP, you check the fountain on the right and you find a hammer. Ooh, Ooh. Max. I resist what? Charlie's <laughs> hand holding. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Charlie told me to hold his hand, hand and I said, thank you. All right, hold on. I'm rolling. Charlie, okay. Max, minus two against that. You, oh yeah, Charlie grabs your hand like his son <laughs> and you are now holding hands. And they're interlocked too. The, oh the fingers are locked. Oh my God. <laughs> Can I show Max the hammer? Okay, you show Max the hammer. Max, your reaction? What the Quack. f*** is this thing? It's a hammer, Max. I don't know what that is. You take this top end and you bang it. I, I don't I comprehend the sentences that you're saying. I'm sorry. You're a Can I drink a handful of the water from the left fountain? It's all frozen. There's not There's not water. They're drained, but there's like ice crystals Ross, lick all, it. Or, along them. Can I, is Nathan still with us? No, I think we left him. Or is he still there? Who, Nathan? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Nathan's still here. Okay. Can we ask him about the hammer? Does he recognize this hammer? <laughs> you, know, you ask Nathan about the hammer and he says, most of my work tends to be outside, so I haven't a clue. <laughs> we are outside. You know what? I'm going to use that hammer to knock on the door three times. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give Max a demonstration on how to use a hammer. <laughs> I don't comprehend what you're doing. <laughs> anyone resist it? Anyone, anyone opposed to that or no? No. Well, I'm going to wait for the outcome. 
Okay. So you approach the patio of the mansion, climbing up a small set of stairs. You knock on the large double door with the hammer three times. <laughs> you hear some yelling inside. Valentina, answer the door! You hear, yes, madam. Who could possibly be disrupting this home right now? The door swings open, held by a maid, wearing what maids wear. She fixes her bonnet as it lies crooked on her head. She seems distressed. Uh, good day, gentlemen. How can I help you? Hi, we're Tell Piss. Tell them to f*** off! Oh, whoa. I like her. Uh, hi, we're from Piss. Uh, the maid says, oh, yes, we've been expecting you. The maid opens the door further, allowing you to walk in. Do you wish to proceed? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go in, we'll go in. Need a unanimous vote here. Yeah. 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 You walk through the door, the maid closing and locking it behind the group. You're in the entrance hall of the home. It's decorated beautifully with mahogany floors, soft but subtle red carpeting strips, classical paintings occupying the walls, hand-designed elegant furniture placed in just the right spaces, all tied together with a beautiful rosewood classical piano uh, sitting front and center in front of the main staircase. Candelabras line the entire room, providing efficient lighting. The east and west walls of the room contain doorways, which exist as a gap in between two bookshelves. All this stuff, very noticeable, but not as noticeable as the dead man laying in the middle of the room. Mm. Surrounding him is a group of people, a mixture of family and employees of the estate. An older woman is sitting in a chair to the side of the room, sobbing loudly. Your assisting maid motions towards the group to start your job. I run over to the body and check its pulse. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I want to inspect the body after. I go to the piano and start playing saloon music. All right, so Max, you try to run over to the body. You do trip and face plant. <laughs> okay, Ross, okay, you, yeah. you go to approach the body, but uh, it's being blocked by a group of people surrounding it. JP, you you go to you go to sit down at the piano, and uh, the the body is in the way of the stool that you would be sitting down on in order to play. <laughs> Not the right time, I guess. What do we do, leader? Yeah, Lear. Uh, uh, right, okay. Well, Ross, you're inspecting the body, aren't you? So what can you tell us? You're the smart one. He, I, he didn't. I can't. That's like, We're blocked from the body. Yeah, there's people in front of it right now. Make way! Make way! Out of the way! Piss people here! <laughs> so, <laughs> so you walk up to the group of people and surrounding the body is what looks to be a chef, a butler, a maintenance man, a man wearing a smoking jacket and other leisure clothing, and a woman dressed in red. The man in the smoking jacket turns towards you with the rest of the group, his eyes wide open in a state of shock. <clears throat> Gentlemen, ladies. Me and my underlings here will find your murderer for you. But first, we need you to clear the room. Please go into separate rooms. We will be with you shortly to interview you. They nod to you in agreement and they all scatter Before around. Before the chef leaves, can I ask sure. him for his hat? You ask the chef for his hat and he shrugs you off and is uh, wondering to himself why a detective is asking for his f***ing hat right now. <laughs> right, everyone whatever. scatters away, um, everyone except the man in the smoking jacket and the leisure clothing. He uh, approaches you and says, uh, you must be the detectives, I presume. We are, yes, sir. Nice uh, to meet you. Where are you from? Uh, we're from Piss. Uh, I'm sorry, Piss? Piss. Yeah, Piss. Yeah, Piss. Ah, piss, right. Mm, piss. Uh, I received a letter from Yuri today that you would arrive. Mm, I'm Michael yes. Malavor III. That's my sister over there, Michelle. He motions to the lady in red, and she smiles at JP cre creepily Ooh. and nods. I nod back, and I ask if she has a watch. <laughs> I punch JP in the gut. Uh, you punch JP, okay? I was just um, asking if she had a watch. You punch JP in the gut, and uh, it, it knocks the wind out of him for a moment. <laughs> Remember why we're here. Okay, Don't go thinking with your... I'm sorry. I say that out loud. Okay. You say that. You do that. I fart in embarrassment. You do that. <laughs> it smells. I have no reaction to what those guys are doing. I'm looking straight at Michael. <laughs> what, uh, I want to inspect around to see if there's just any messes. Okay, you look around the room for mess. Uh, the, the room is pretty dusty, I must say. Uh, can I just start dusting? Um, yeah, sure. We'll let you just... You want to check your backpack for it? Or your bag? Whatever. whatever I was just going to kind of like use my hand. <laughs> to like, you know, when you rub a dusty surface. Sure, sure. 
So, uh, yep, you just, like, are going around the room, like, smacking your hand on things, wiping the dust off of it, and then, like, yeah. just wiping your hands off and repeating the process. <laughs> this uh, is all part of the process, sir. Trust me, we will find your murderer. <laughs> so he says, uh, well, if it isn't apparent already, my father, Michael, has been killed. He points to the body. Ah. He's relaxing in the lounge, from what I know. I believe he was just writing his to-dos for the day. He usually starts in the lounge, smokes his pipe, then takes a nap. I was the one who found the body. I took initiative and revoked all key holders, rings, and locked the property from the inside. We think the killer may still be here. I do trust that you'll figure this out, detectives. He looks around at all of you. Just, you're all just chaotically doing your own shit <laughs> right now. He says, my father is a good man. Uh, was a good man. And Michael lightly frowns. My mother Meredith... She's in shambles. He motions towards the old woman weeping on the chair. Please be cautious approaching her. She is quite aggressive when she is mourning. Max, go <laughs> slap her. Oh, we need her to. We need her to pull herself together. You we know need what? Her... I don't resist. So you approach the old woman. <laughs> oh my god. She's dressed in black, and she goes. Be gone, you pigs! I have nothing to tell you. Can't you see I'm mourning? <laughs> Off. I and then you her. smack her. <laughs> <laughs> and for some reason, that has calmed her down. <laughs> yeah, Max? Do you have any questions for her? No, Does have a nice have a day, walk? madam. <laughs> <laughs> you say that and walk away. <laughs> Apologies, but we need to get straight to the point with this one. Uh, can you tell me, how do you think he died? I don't know what killed him. I was helping my daughter with her wedding dress upstairs, and we needed a few more sewing tools. I went to the hallway closet to grab another kit. When I opened the closet door, it was gone, along with my apothecary kit and some critter poison. I went to tend to the dress, and we heard a scream. My daughter convinced me it was no alarm until my son yelled up to us. Would you say you're single now? Asking for a friend? <laughs> she frowns I'm that and friend. begins to weep at the realization that she's <laughs> I single I smack now. her again. <laughs> Max, slap her again. <laughs> you One. slap her again. It just upsets her even more, and she's just One. screaming. I want to shake her and then ask her, why is she wearing black? <laughs> <laughs> you shake her and ask her why she's wearing black, but it just makes her more sad because she realized she's wearing black on the day that her husband died. It was her she's fault. Just... I help Ross shake her. Okay, I'm gonna combine roles here. <laughs> you shake her more, and she just is crying. There's just a pool of tears puddling underneath of her. I just turn. I I I turn back to freaking Michael and just be like, "This is all part of the process. We will find your murderer." <laughs> Michael nods back at you. <laughs> like, like, oh, I get it. Can I walk over to the lady in red and ask her for her height? <laughs> okay, so you approach the lady. In Wait, red before he nervous. does that, I punch him in the stomach again. <laughs> no. All right, hold on. <laughs> JP resistance to that? Yeah. Okay, Max rolled an 11, you rolled a 2. <laughs> so you punch JP in the gut right before he approaches the lady in the red. Stop thinking you with can't, you. you. You can't breathe. And you you approach the lady in the red, just just exhaust like no breath, exhausted and nervous, and you can't even get a question out. She just stares at you and just like is like, what the fuck is happening right now? Kind of look. I just walk away. That's what okay. I thought. Yeah, you do that. I can't say anything. Okay. Uh, can I um, inspect the body a bit, please? So, you lean over to the body and, and, and investigate it. There's no sign of a struggle. There's foam pouring out of his mouth. I walk over to Charlie. You see. I think this man's been shot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I believe you. Oh, uh, guys, I, I think it was poison. I believe you. <laughs> Didn't the lady that... But there's the... something more important going on here. Does he have any valuables on him? Why? Would you like to search him? Yes. Okay, so you check his clothes and his pockets. You find a pipe freshly packed with tobacco, a dead spider, and a note. It's oh, folded in half. Can I Damn, read the I was note? Hoping... I mean, Charlie has the note. I'm, I, I, excuse, you know what? I passed the note over to JP. Go ahead, JP. <laughs> All right, I read the note. It's read a it to-do to list. It says, oh. speak with Michael about inheritance reduction. 
force oh. Michelle into a marriage, tell <laughs> my wife I love her, fire Valentina, Disgusting. eat pig, and it looks like he was in the middle of writing the last word down and only got up to exercise, like exercise without an E. Oh, oh my God, Charlie, this guy was about to perform an exorcist. I believe you. I'm worried it might be ghosts. Wait, this place is haunted? Michael, I, 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 I go back up to Michael. Michael, I need yeah. you to find me the most valuable thing in your house right now and give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't even care that you rolled, you didn't pass this roll, I'm letting you do it. <laughs> okay, does he give me the most valuable home, item? And you're like, grab the most valuable thing for him. And he scurries off and he comes back and he's like, I've returned to you with my grandfather's urn. Thank it's you. embedded with rubies and emeralds and all right. Opal. I, I, I smacked the urn out of, Char out of his no, hand no, before no, he hands no, it to no. Charlie. No. Can I defend the urn? What are you doing? I'm smacking the urn out of his hands before he gives it to Charlie. Uh, any resistance, Charlie? Yeah, resistance. Okay, so your plus two is now um, negated, but you're not minus two because you had a plus two. Okay, max rolls an eight. Charlie also rolls an eight. Oh, that's awkward. Uh, we roll again. <laughs> Max rolls a five. Charlie rolls a four. <laughs> oh, no. So you go to smack the urn out of Michael's hand and he fumbles it and it's like very cartoonish how he like juggles it and he actually <laughs> catches it right before it hits the ground. Do it's not a... give this man your valuables until we solve the murder. Max, you don't understand. This is important. <laughs> Michael, I understand like, everything except the concept the detective of hammers. This to do, is important, okay? Max. Give me the urn right now. Give me the urn. <laughs> Michael hands you the urn. Okay, I take the urn. I take it outside. I give it to Carl. I scoff at him. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> I go back inside. Right, that's dealt with. You do all that. You do every single thing you just said. <laughs> And Carl is just like holding this urn, like, <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> he's like, he's got the mic tip. He like, he, like he like shrugs and he's like, well, okay, all right. Well, he gave me a good tip now. Finally, <laughs> all right, Ross. What what do you think we should do? Uh, I think we should inform Michael that his inheritance has been lowered okay. based uh, on the to, note. You go up to uh. Michael and ask about the inheritance. He says, ah, yes, my father does not look at music as a profession, but a hobby. He doesn't trust me with the mansion if you were to pass on. It seems to be expected that he was considering reducing what I inherit. Besides, my mother is still here breathing. She deserves it more than I. All right. I got good news for you then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that? <laughs> well... On your father's list here, he was actually just about to lower in your inheritance. Kawinky dink enough. That makes sense to me. He's too. He's too okay with about this. Yeah. yeah, he's too. He's okay. He's too okay with this. Mm. Would you like to ask mm. him about his day? Does he have well, a watch a about his day? No, I don't really care. Wanna? I wanna <laughs> ask when the last time he saw poison was. You ask him about the poison. He goes. I know we keep some poison upstairs. Interesting. He in knows the closet the in the hallway. I would like to ask him who has access to that closet. It's a closet. It it doesn't it doesn't lock. It's just a door that opens and closes. You've I seen smack him before. for getting sassy with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, plus two on that roll. You smack him. It's a twenty-one. You I'm just in the. It dazes him. He almost forgets all the information he wants to tell you. Oh my god! I'm in the back there with folded arms, just nodding like, "Yes, I, this is how it works." I got another question. I wanna, I wanna put my arm around his shoulder and go, "Okay, who did it?" I don't know who did it. That's why we wrote to have you come here. He's, he says, my day started like any other. I had breakfast in bed, then arose, ready to begin writing for the day. I had my slippers assigned to my feet, then came down here and sat at the piano. I began writing what I would deem to be one of my more provocative pieces, but one of my keys was out of tune, so I ordered the maintenance man to fix it. From there, I spent some time out I in the frozen him. east and... Mm -hmm. I didn't ask. <laughs> I, I want to ask, what was the maintenance man's name? 
Marty. He says, Oh my god, I took Marty. a drink whenever you said I rolled a 21 <laughs> and I'm coughing. <laughs> <laughs> I have, wait, I have something I want to ask Michael. Have okay. you ever had any uh, pest problems in or outside the house? Yes, we have some critter issues. There's a rat here and there, some cockroaches. You know how a mansion is. In or outside the house? Mm, both. Which one's worse? <clears throat> Inside. Oh, f All right. How much do you guys want to bet that the poison's in his smoking pipe? Yeah, oh, that's what I was thinking. JP, smoke it and check. Tell, him, tell JP to smoke it, Charlie. No, I'm not. No, I'm not telling JP to smoke I, it. I, I I will make you guys die. Okay. I sensually <laughs> caress JP's back and try to convince him to smoke the pipe. No, is I, the is the is the wife still uh in hysterics? Yes. You need oh to yeah. Okay. Make I give. The wife I, do give it. I give. I give the. I give the wife uh, the pipe uh, to calm her nerves. Okay. And uh, her smoke kick. We're not ready for this. <laughs> All right, so you hand, you're talking about the pipe you found on the body, right? The yeah. pipe I found on the body, yeah. Okay, so you hand her the pipe and... Before she takes a uh, puff, I smack her. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> to calm her down. <laughs> okay. All right, so... <laughs> you, Max smacks her, and she, like, pulls it together a little bit, and then Charlie hands her the pipe and lights it for her, and she <laughs> smokes it, and she goes, Oh, my... My husband. What was the voice? I, dude, I'm not. I'm not gonna be able to. <laughs> That's about uh, right. My husband. My husband's pipe. Ah, uh, I miss him so much. And he, she smokes it, and it calms her down. Huh. Whoa. Yo. Okay. High five for the group. Yeah. We, so it's not the pipe. Yeah. Guys, I wait, just want to share. I convinced the group to wait 20 minutes just standing there. This is, I want a 20 minute time skip to see what happens. Yeah, I'm okay Does with this. Does everyone agree yeah, to that? Sure. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Let's just stare at her. <laughs> okay, okay. So you, you stare at her for 20 minutes and nothing happens. An right, hour. Take... You stare at her for an hour. <laughs> uh, she she's, begins to start falling asleep. I smack oh her my. to wake her up. <laughs> you smack her to wake her up. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nat 20. <laughs> it's a 22. No. She is now fully awake. No way she's falling asleep anytime soon. How loud was the slapping sound? Was it like the best slap anyone has ever heard? It was a really good <laughs> slap. Like I go through the mansion. Good. Hey, Max, kind of can slap you... that yes. solves yeah. wars. Guys, Max, can left... you hand me... Oh, sorry. Go on, Ross. Just say, we left the other guests in the room for an hour now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I keep Max. the pipe with me? No lady has the pipe. Old lady. Yeah, it's her it's her pipe. I want the yeah. pipe. No, it's Your you husband's just, not dead, JP. You okay. can't just steal dead man's things. It says the guy who stole dead man's stole things. A, yeah. <laughs> Technically I stole I stole a dead man, not anyway, a dead man. Shut man's up. Things. What Ross, what did you want to do? Uh I, I think we should question the maid next. Yeah, that's a good idea. Before that, can I quickly uh check that chef's hat you got, Max? I didn't get it. Oh, didn't you? No. I thought he gave it to you. No, he no. was, he was just scoffed at me. The chef yeah, go was insulted by it. We Max, go, go smack the chef. How how beefy is the chef? Would you like to approach him? Yeah. All right, so you approach the chef. He's a large man with a mustache, a chef's hat, and an apron covered in blood. Oh, God. I slap him. I'm not giving you plus two on this. Yes, you are! That is my <laughs> big! All right, fine. He goes slap the chef. He goes, what the, the hell? <laughs> <laughs> He's Italian? I don't know. I don't know what he is. That was a better Chris Pratt voice, so I'll give you that. Yeah. Yeah. I said, give me your f hat now. It's for the investigation. Uh, you do not convince him to give him the hat. He says, no one will take my hat. <laughs> Fine, whatever. What's under that hat? Tell us now. <laughs> he lifts the hat up and shows you uh, just a receding hairline. <laughs> Disgusting. I want to yeah, I want to oh. look just... Like, I kind of peek under, like, when he's holding it up to make sure there's nothing in the hat. Holding on, a, like... A, you want that okay, to be a rat, you don't you? You peek up into the hat to see <laughs> if you can catch anything, but you don't get the right angle. Damn. All right, let's question the maid. Okay. Should Ross lead everyone... this investigation? I, I vote yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, Charlie's uh, the leader. I know. I mean... <laughs> Would you like you to can, pass you... your leadership? God, no, but Ross, you can definitely, like, talk to the maid. Uh, I, want, I want a bad cop to go with me. Max. All right. oh, okay, all right. <laughs> I'm going with JP, Ross. JP, hold my hand. <laughs> I hold both his hands. Hell yes. Okay, so you approach the maid um, and begin to question her. She leans in and whispers to you, 
I need to be completely honest with you. The butler, James, and I were getting into it into the basement this morning. He was upset with me. The, the Malivores tend to have me assist in the kitchen with the chef, but I couldn't bear the sight of him killing a pig. I wandered off to the basement looking for a nice wine for the pig tonight and ran into James. He seemed to think that he and I had some sort of intimate arrangement, but I declined. Uh, leading him to cry for at least two hours down there. I tried calming him down this whole time. He just kept repeating to himself, you can't do this over and over <laughs> again. By the time he calmed down, I heard a scream. And when we rushed to see what had happened, we found Michael standing over Master Malivore's body. The chef was there too. This man, uh, the one that was crying in the basement for two hours, what was his name again? Uh, that's James, the butler okay. right over there. All right. Max, go slap James for being a little <laughs> bitch. I resist. <laughs> what the hell? Harley a four. Max a 14. You do not do that. I smack Dude. Charlie instead. Yes, what the hell? Do. I resist. Yeah, you do. No, 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 no he, he does. That's, that's the retaliation right there. You get smacked. What? Your monocle falls out. <laughs> <laughs> I pick it up and put it on. Oh my god. You resist Charlie? Yeah, I resist. <laughs> <laughs> Max, you got a three. That's a five. <laughs> no, that, that's not strength. <laughs> Charlie got a 12. So Charlie reaches down, picks up the monocle, and uh, puts it back in front of his eye. Fine. But I flip him and off. Max, you know I need this monocle to hear things. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> all right. Let's 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 all go over to James. Just, I want everybody to come huddle over to James. We just surround right. him. Can I, all right. can I be the first to say better luck next time, James, to him? I don't know what you're yeah. referencing. <laughs> Nothing. He just... <laughs> Did you not hear what the maid said? <laughs> you can't do this. You can't. <laughs> I just over... <laughs> can I... Can I actually... So, I... One thing. I didn't take full notes. What was that list... On his to-do list, what did it have to do with the maid again? Fire her. Fire her. Okay. I think we should let her know that she shouldn't be working, that she shouldn't come back tomorrow. <laughs> mm. I fire her. <laughs> so you, uh, knowing the information that Master Malivore was going to fire her, you attempt to tell her that she's going to be fired and that she shouldn't come back to work tomorrow. <laughs> she doesn't believe you, though. She needs absolute confirmation from one of the Malivores. I show her the note. <laughs> she, you show her the note. She's now fully convinced that she was going to be fine. I smack her she, for doubting me. You smack her and she goes, oh! And, uh, she goes, okay, okay, I won't come to work tomorrow. All right, now we have to take care of James. All right, I go over to James and I give him a little kiss on the cheek. Okay, you go up to kiss him, but he, he backs off from the kiss the way Carl backed off. From it's this earlier. guy, he did it! I believe you. What do you have to say for yourself? Why did you kill him? I didn't kill anybody, he says. I'm going to be quite frank. Me I already Valentina... believe you. <laughs> you don't need to see anymore. This guy is innocent. Please, oh, no. let me explain myself. He says, I'm going to be quite frank. Me and Val Valentina were in the basement screwing, but Malivores, <laughs> but the Malivores <laughs> think I was dusting the interior. I was dusting something else, if you understand my in in innuendo. You're disgusting. <laughs> I prefer that you don't tell them as it may get me relieved of my duties. That took up most of my day, to be honest, since it was quite the situation to remove a servant's clothes. By the time we finished tidying up, I heard a scream. When we rushed to see what had happened, we found Michael standing over Master Malivore's body. I smack Rolf him was for there lying. too. The chef? I'd say I'd say that to be around uh and he goes to pull out a watch and he goes, Oh, that's oh. peculiar. My watch is missing. I need to know where this watch is. Also, I call him out for lying and call him a bitch because he cried for two hours. I, want, I wanted to inspect his eyes. <laughs> his eyes? See yeah, if he was see crying. If red. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you look at his eyes and it looks like he was crying for a couple of hours. <laughs> I smack him for lying. lying. Tell us the, I, I demand that he tell us the truth. You uh, smack. Oh, my God. It's a 19, 21. <laughs> so you smack him and demand the truth and he begins to start crying again. <laughs> Me and the maid, we got into it in the basement this morning. I was really upset with her. I wandered off to the basement and I ran into the maid and. I thought we had some sort of intimate arrangement planned, and she declined, and then I cried for two hours, 
And she tried calming me down, but I just kept repeating to myself, you can't do this over and over again. <laughs> and by the time I calmed down, I heard a scream. And when we rushed to see what had happened, we found Michael standing over Master Malivore's body. The chef was there, too. All right, so I walk back two... over to the chef. Okay. I the ask chef. him what time it is. You walk over to the chef and ask him what time it is. He says, I don't know. I don't, don't carry a watch. I Damn smack it. him. You smack him. He's not phased by it, though. Well, smack, guys, what do we do now? I don't know. I'm all out of ideas with this one. I think we tickle him. I'm, I'm, what, I'm not doing that. Ross can do it. <laughs> you can tickle him if you I'm want I'm the to. smacker. I'm not the tickler. You're the smartest wanna, one out I of us, I want to go up to the chef and begin a tickle motion while we'll saying, here comes the tickle monster if you don't tell us what happened. And you go to reach and tickle him, and he... He punches you in the face as you attempt to tickle him. You're, you have a black eye now. Am I on the ground or am I able to get up? No, you took the punch. You didn't fall over. Okay. Can I, can I break his finger in retaliation? You, you see Ross get punched in the face and you take one of his fingers and snap it like a glow stick. Wait, me? <laughs> no, no. no, the chef, the chef just starts screaming in Italian. Ah! And then... <laughs> he broke his finger. All right, I disperse from the group and walk back over to Michael alone. And I whisper okay. to him, do you have any firearms on the present? And he whispers back and goes, not that I know of. Go find one. Ah, uh, okay. And he scares off looking for a gun that doesn't exist. <laughs> okay, Michael's gone. All right, how do you guys want to do this? Can I ask Wait, what are we to... doing? You know, we got to go investigate more people, so can I go uh, investigate the lady in red? No, I'm investigating the lady in red. Yeah, no, I hold JP down. You guys, you JP, guys I want... against each other. JP minus two against Charlie. JP rolled a one. Charlie yeah. rolled a five. I want to pin JP to the ground and sit on him. Wait, I thought... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. You want to pin him to the ground and sit on JP? Any resistance? No. <laughs> okay, you pin JP to the ground and sit on him. Good work, Max. Ross, come with me. I follow Charlie, no resistance. Okay, you want to talk to the lady in red? Yeah, we're talking to the lady in red. So you approach the lady in red. Wait, nervous. before we before we approach, uh, Ross, do you want to be good cop or bad cop? Uh, I'll be bad cop. All right. I fart. Mm. I sniff. <laughs> I don't fart. <laughs> All right. I still sniff. She begins right. to tell you about her day. I don't know what happened. I'm sure whatever it was, my father deserved it. The man was constantly taking away all of our privileges among the mansion. He planned for me to marry a man I certainly do not love and certainly do not plan on having any sort of relationship with. Now that he's gone, I no longer need to worry about this predicament. So, good riddance. I would have done it later if not today. Today I was with my mother upstairs, sorting out a dress for my wedding day. We heard a scream, but carried on until my brother shouted for us. I don't know how to be the good cop with this bitch. <laughs> what? How, how can I be the good cop? She, she's, she's been a total bitch. Um, <clears throat> uh, I understand this must be a very emotionally traumatic Can you roll to you. see if Charlie said that out loud or in his head? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yes, he D said it. He screamed it. He screamed <laughs> yeah. all that. She just looks at him disgusted. I just say, listen here. We know you had a motive. I ask why they weren't more subtle with the killing. We know you used poison. Was my father poisoned? I don't know. I didn't do it, but I'm glad it happened. Damn, she's ice cold. <laughs> she is. Slap her. No, I'm it's the slapping. <laughs> Actually, no, yeah. Max, get over here! Did Ross and I trade places? Oh, I'll make okay. sure he doesn't get up and... Uh, he's right. not, a, he's not allowed he's around speaking. random women. <laughs> <laughs> Can I quickly sneak off and steal the pipe from the, the widow? <laughs> I'll let him. I'll let him up. Thank oh, you. I was supposed to give you wild card rolls this whole time. <laughs> okay, you get plus two on this roll, so it's a seven. So you go to take the pipe from the old woman, and she pulls it away from you before you grab it. Damn. All right, I, 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 go, I go up to the bitch and slap her. Which one? The lady in red? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. You walk her. Oh, my God. It's a nat 20. <laughs> so it's a 22. You I demand to her to tell me the truth. And slap her, but you knock her out. <laughs> She's unconscious on the floor now. And I walk up to Charlie and go, that's how you play bad cop. Oh, my God. Good work, Max. Good work. Okay. Uh, I search her for any valuables. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna, I want to raise to the group that I think it's the chef and we can, you know, arrest him already. 
giving him the question. Of that. <laughs> um, so you search the lady in red as she's unconscious on the floor, but find nothing except the pearl necklace around her neck. That seems to be pretty locked on there. I rip it off. You attempt to rip off the pearl necklace, but it's very well made and will not rip off. Unfortunate. All right, I Guys, pull Ross to the side. I whisper to Ross. You're the smartest one here. Whisper? I need you to make me a makeshift gun. Okay, Ross, you're the only one that heard that. Uh, I'm going to start no. looking around. I, I want to see if I can find a paper towel tube, a rubber band, and a hair clip. None of these things even exist, Ross. It's 1860. <laughs> I want him to make right. me a makeshift gun. Would a slingshot do? <laughs> Michael comes back in the room and he goes, here's that gun you've been looking for. And oh. All right. And hands you, <laughs> hands you a gun. It's a, it's a, it's a hunting like pellet gun. How many? How much is in the ammunition? Uh, you check the, um, the, the, the magazine or whatever, the chamber. I don't know. Uh, it's got eighteen rounds in it. All right, I, sh I shoot the chef. <laughs> what the? F where? Where? The where? In I the shoot him in the foot. arm. The kneecap. Oh, Come foot. on. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I shoot him in the kneecap. You shoot the chef in the kneecap, and he goes, ow! Like, it's just a pellet, so, like, it doesn't penetrate. But it hit him right on the bone, and he's, like, jumping up and down Give on me one that! leg. <laughs> we need information. I go back to reassure Michael this is all part of the investigation. We will find your murderer. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Charlie. I appreciate all of your help. You're doing a it's great it. job. Thank you. Shoot him again! I shoot him again. <laughs> you shoot? Yeah. You shoot Chef where now? It's in the same spot. You shoot him in the kneecap again, and he's just crying in pain. He's, he Alice, may have fractured his know. kneecap. Oh. I demand You're answers across, from him. He's across the room. You're not even in front of it anymore. You're just sniping him. <laughs> All right, I run over to him and demand answers. Okay. You run over to him. And you... Sorry, I place the gun up against his temple and demand answers. <laughs> you approach the chef and you put the gun up against his temporal lobe. <laughs> He's a large man with a mustache, a chef's head, and an apron covered in blood. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta get this out. This is gonna be so hard to read, I swear to God. Okay. The Malibus, they are making me, a making them a food, sir. Today they are want to have a me, a make them a stuff to pig. I saw I go down to a farmer and I buy a pig. The farmer say he have a no a pig. So I go down to another a farm to buy a pig. And he have a pig, a big a pig. So I take the pig. I to the kitchen uh, and I kill the pig. Uh, the pig uh, screamed. Uh, it uh, screamed like a pig. Uh, a big uh, pig. Uh, and then I hear a scream uh, and I see a uh, Michael standing over Master Marlevore. Uh, he took uh, my uh, keys away. Now a uh, dead uh, pig is uh, gonna go uh, bad. All so right. you, wait, hang on. So you heard two screams. You heard the scream of the pig and the scream of the guy? Uh, yep. <laughs> I take Charlie over. I think what? the pig did it. I believe you. Do you think this is it? We've we've done it. Well, I'm confused now because the maid said that uh, the the guy who was crying was over the body. The guy who was crying and the cook said that uh, Michael was over the body. Hmm. So someone's no 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 no, no. no? The, the maid. Uh... They were both downstairs. They were they, they were together. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, then I don't know anything. Uh, Charlie's the leader. Charlie, you take it from here. <clears throat> so, what I'm thinking is maybe it was the chef, just because he's the only one that heard two screams. And what if the screams that everyone else heard were the screams of the pig dying? Because you think about it, someone this guy has obviously been poisoned. He, we got a, a frothy mouthy person right here. Okay. Mm. Who who screams when they're poisoned? No one does. They they go. <laughs> they don't. They they don't. Ah! They don't do that. Nobody screams when they're freaking poisoned. So maybe everyone heard the scream of the pig dying. Which means why is this guy hearing two screams? I point the gun back to his temple. Why are you hearing two screams? Tell you anything you want to know. Who's, I don't why know. Why did what you do, do it? What motive does the chef have? 
I don't he's think Italian. he has a moat. Oh, never mind. He is Italian. <laughs> That's not a motive. <laughs> Are you sure? Maybe he's angry at the new <laughs> at the new Mario movie. It doesn't exist. It's 1867. I don't know, Ross. Who did it? Uh, yes. I said uh, you still have one more person. To, to wait, who? To. The maintenance man. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. I rush over to the maintenance man. Mar Marty, right? Marvin. Yeah, Marty. Marty. Marvin. Okay, Marty Jimmy, you go over to the maintenance man and attempt to speak with him. Uh, he's wearing canvas overalls, a burlap shirt, hefty boots, and glasses. He goes, Hi. Uh, I don't know much, gentlemen. I was helping that there uh, groundskeeper on the north side of the property, and then I was notified of a piano string needing a tuning. Uh, I ain't much a musician, but them there pianos, I got a knack for fixing. This fixing particular... I needed a hand drill and a chisel to get to the problem. So I went out to the east yard where the tool shed is, found the groundskeeper knocked out, but I just let him sleep it off on account of uh, he's a hardworking man. That's when I heard a scream. By the time I got back in there, there was a dead man. Most of the others surrounded him. Can I show him the hammer? You, sh you show the maintenance man the hammer. <laughs> he looks at it and goes, yep. <laughs> 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 we found this in the fountain. Do you have any idea why it was in there? He goes, yep, that's my hammer. Why was it in the fountain? It's I a think, hammer. I think we need to ask the groundskeeper about being knocked out. He mm. already told us how. Wait, you know what I just realized, guys? Did you say that they made sure they locked everybody up after they found the body and took everybody's keys away way earlier on? Mm -hmm. They yeah. locked them in, yeah. Yeah, but... If that wasn't the groundskeeper who did that, right? That was Michael? Yeah, yeah, Michael took all of their keys. But the groundskeeper had keys. Yeah, he did. But if Michael took all the keys, how did he have keys? Because He's he wasn't inside. Oh. It was only the people inside. Never mind. Hmm. Indeed. I thought I, I found something out. I mean, it could be possible. It means that the Mr. Groundskeeper has, like, the ability to move in and out. But I guess everyone did before the murder happened. Yeah. Right. I take the hammer and smack the chef's kneecap. I got shot. <laughs> Holy sh! All right, wild card roll. You pass. You get plus two, and it's a ten. So you smack the chef on his kneecap that was shot twice already, Ooh. shattering it completely. He's on the floor, just just wailing. I yell at right him. Now. Give me the hat. <laughs> He goes, please, uh, it's uh, my hat, uh, make me a chef. Uh, uh, you order the chef to give him your hat, he still refuses. Oh my god. I, I tell him if he doesn't give the hat up right now, I'll break his other kneecap. You tell him that, and he says, oh wait, wild card roll, you failed, it's minus five. <laughs> it's, it's a six. He's not threatened by you, he won't give you the hat. Okay, all right, Charlie. We 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 gotta we gotta make some progress here, man. What do you think? I think we're close. I think we're close to uh to solving this. I think we are. So just yeah. just some guidance. You've now interviewed everyone. Perhaps you should find some evidence. Where? <laughs> I'm trying to think. Where? I want to search the kitchen. Okay. I want to search the. Or I'll wait until after. But I, I want to. Yeah, make Charlie go alone. Supply closet. Okay. I mean, you guys can join sure. me if you want. No, I'm good. You guys want to go with Charlie? No. No. <laughs> Charlie, you're alone. Yep. Okay. Wait, is uh, this where the chef is? is am I just like, like, no, no, no. Everyone's in kitchen? like the general, like just the main general okay. lobby okay. area right now. They're all spread out, so you can speak to them individually since you made them disperse. Mm -hmm. Um. So the kitchen, right? So you enter the doorway to the east, and you wind up in the kitchen. The smell of room temperature, slightly gone bad pork fills the air, and there's blood all over the counters. You notice there's a smear of blood removed from one of the counters. The head of a pig is sticking out of a waste bin in the corner. There's a door on the opposite side of the room. It looks like it leads outside. I make myself a pork sandwich. <laughs> With the pig? Yes. Oh boy, I don't think it's even cooked yet, dude. Okay, Ugh. maybe not then. <laughs> uh, too bad you rolled already. Um, yeah. So you pick up a knife and cut off a chunk of the pig and open the refrigerator in there and find some sliced bread, the newly invented sliced bread, and <laughs> slap it in between the two slices and you eat this raw pork. 
and you uh, have a feeling you're gonna get sick. I'm gonna go ahead and, and say that gives you a minus one on all your rolls now. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> all right, can I can I uh just check out uh, like where outside does it lead to? Uh, you look out the window and it looks like it leads to the east yard. I see. That is outside. You see a uh, a shed out there. Um, you see. Can I check the shed? Would you like to go outside? Yeah, I'll go outside. You got to open the door, but it's locked. Didn't he give us the keys or? Who has it? Who has the keys? I'm assuming Charlie because he's the leader. Yeah, I'm assuming. assuming. Yeah. I think you do. I All think right. he yeah, does, yeah. Would you like to check to see if it unlocks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You uh, you try one key. <laughs> <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> oh, God. You try Come another on. key. It's not it either. You try another key and it happens to be the kitchen key. Let's go. You open the door and you go outside. You notice you're in the east yard. You see a tool shed, some freshly cut grass, or scythed grass, and a bag on the ground near the shed. Oh, what's in the bag? You go over to the bag and inspect it. It's an apothecary bag. So it's outside. How interesting. Would you like to open it? Go on, yeah. You open it. It's missing a vial. Now what could this be? I think it's a bag. So we've either... Okay, uh, what about the shed? Anything in the shed? Okay, you try to check the shed, you inspect it, but it's locked with a wooden plank jammed in between the doors. A mallet could easily knock it loose. I have the hammer. Okay, would you like to use the hammer on it? Yeah, yeah, or yeah. Would yeah. you like to call Max over for him to do no. it? No, no. <laughs> All right, we roll. You go to smack the uh, plank out from blocking the shed, but you are not strong enough for this. Perhaps choose a stronger person. No. <sighs> I'm going to need someone stronger. Okay, uh, I go and get Max. Max, do you concur? What do you want? I need you to open a door. Okay. I want you to try just using your brute force and your amazing strength first, okay? Okay. I punch the okay. plank. So you follow him outside and you go to punch the plank off the shed. Oh my god, you rolled a one. <laughs> it does nothing. You just get splinters in your hand. <sighs> I was afraid it would have to come to this. Max, I need you to hold this thing. <laughs> what is it? It's a thing. What is it? A hammer. I don't know what that is. I want you... Okay, open your palm out towards me. No. Why not? <laughs> well, I guess I kind of have... Wait, can I roll to not do that? Not do what? He's telling me to hold out my hand. I, want, I don't want to do that. Okay, you resist. It's minus two against Charlie, but you have a plus two on strength. So he rolled a five. Charlie rolled a one. Oh, no. <laughs> he won't take the hammer from you. He's the clown. I'm the clown yeah, now. Oh, sh the leader. True, you're the clown. <laughs> oh, no. Who's the leader? Do I just... minus, minus five on all rolls. I want to be the uh, leader. Everyone, everyone, no matter where they are in the mansion, has this feeling that Charlie no longer <laughs> leads them. Do I just suddenly grow like a red nose or something? <laughs> Can I try and comprehend what Charlie is telling me to do? I'm minusing like three from this because it's your trait and it's like a two. So no, you <laughs> no. don't understand. I don't Wait. know what you're asking me to do, man. What if I use my head against the plank instead? Go ahead. All right. I bash the plank with head. my head. You attempt to headbutt the plank. You get a bump on your head and the plank remains. Damn it. All right, can I show up and tell Max he could use me as as a I'm force I'm okay to with break? that. JP comes outside and offers himself for Max to use as a as a means to breaking the plank off the shed. Um, we'll do a combined effort here. JP rolled a six. Max, you rolled an eight. So fourteen. So Max, you grab uh you grab JP like a battering ram and you smack him into the plank and the plank breaks, releasing the doors, freeing the doors to be uh, opened. We did it. Teamwork. We did it. Where's Ross? Ross? Am I still inside? <laughs> yeah, you're, I think you're inside. Do you want to come outside? Yeah, I want to come out from the... I hear the noise, and I want to start, like, kind of picking up any debris. Okay, you go outside, and you <laughs> clean up after the, after the battering ram, but there's just sawdust everywhere. You can't possibly pick up every bit of it. Pile it up a little bit, you know? All right, I want to go inside. As the, yeah, anyone, I want to appoint myself resist? as leader as well. No oh, yeah. god. Does anyone, it, uh, anyone, uh, does not want that to happen? Yeah. Except you, Charlie. <laughs> You're a clown. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, honk. 
I think I'm JP good and it. Ross, are you okay with it? I'm okay with it. Or do you guys yeah. want to roll against each other to see who's the next leader? <laughs> I'm okay with it. Yeah, I'm okay. good with it too. Okay, Max, you're the new leader. You now have uh, anyone who rolls against you has minus two. Cool. I want to go in. Okay, so does anyone resist to that? No. I mean, it's him. Yeah, I'm going in by myself. Yeah. yeah, he's going in by himself. Okay. You enter the shed, but there's nothing of interest here except for other tools. God damn it, Charlie. <laughs> I go back what? inside, but slap Charlie on the way in. I resist. I'll you fall get like minus seven here, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> Max rolled a one, though. <laughs> Does that mean he's the clown? I'm not yeah. a clown. Oh, wait, you lost leadership. Oh, no, wait, wait, that's what that means? I thought it was Charlie's trait. <laughs> no, you rolled a one. What the f***? I thought that was Charlie's trait. <laughs> You're no longer the leader. You're the <laughs> Whatever, just go inside. <laughs> okay, we gotta Charlie, figure out how to do Charlie's this. the leader again. <laughs> Max wow. the clown. Sorry, I had a moment of weakness. What's up, everyone? Charlie, dig deep in inside of yourself. Who done it? Uh, it was either the maintenance man or it was the guy with the scythe, most likely. I told you it was uh, him the, the moment we got here. I think and it's the lady I believe in red. you. Yeah, I was thinking about the lady in red too, Ross. Lady in red okay. does have the most motive, but yeah, she she does, but she has an not, alibi. But JP's she not has like, an alibi. She, JP's not allowed like thirty feet near her. Like we can't let that happen. There's also the scream evidence Charlie came up with. Yeah. yeah, but I also thought, what if it's the son that was screaming from the sight of the dead body? So maybe it's not. Maybe there were two screams. But no, everyone heard one scream. Wait, it was it like a high-pitched scream? Do we know like the pitch of the scream? I don't think that matters. Mm. Well, we could ask uh, Michael what? to scream. Fine, let's, well, go, could, let's yeah, go ask like, Michael. Who's screaming? Go back like. inside, okay. But here's the thing. Uh, we also found the apothecary bag outside, oh. which True. means... And who has access to the outside? The chef and the two groundskeepers, or the groundskeeper and the well, maintenance guy. Just throwing this um, out there, you didn't want to hear the rest of Michael's story. Oh, that's true, I didn't, yeah, you're <laughs> oh, right. Oh yeah, good point, yeah. We go ask Michael for the rest of his story? Yeah, let's go and ask Michael Fine. for the rest of his story. All right, so you go to leave the shed, turning around, running almost face first into Nathan, the groundskeeper, as he was standing behind <laughs> you. And he goes, you find what you're looking for? And he's sharpening his scythe. Uh -huh. You have a feeling you're done in this area. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah, we yeah, found, we found, in. yeah, we just okay, wanted some fresh air. Go back inside looking for Michael. How would you like to go? Yeah, yeah I want to I go to Michael. Let's just scream his name. Michael! Michael! <laughs> Michael comes to the main hall and, um, he says, uh, hello, uh, how can I help you? Tell us the rest of your story. Uh, he says, um... Well, uh, I don't remember where I left off, but my day started like any other. I had breakfast in bed, then arose, ready to begin writing for my day for the day. I had my slippers assigned to my feet, then came down here and sat on the piano. I began writing for what I would deem to be one of my more provocative pieces, but one of my keys was out of Get tune, to the point. so I ordered the maintenance man to fix it. From there, I spent some time out in the frozen eastern yard, searching for inspiration for my next musical number. I got tired at some point and went back to my bedroom for a nap. This is when I was awoken to screaming. I rushed downstairs, and that's when I found him. Wait, was it a high-pitched scream or a low-pitched scream? He goes like this. It was like, uh... Ah! It's probably and then just I kick the him. dude dying! Yeah, it is just the dude dying. I kick him. Scream, I kick Michael's in, Michael in the balls to make sure that wasn't his scream. <laughs> All right, rolling for wild card. How do you know what in you the pass, scream sounds like? You get a plus two. It's fifteen. You kick him in the balls and he groans and falls down to his knees. Does it sound like the scream? No, I don't think it was Michael. <laughs> Does it sound like the scream? Michael was also outside. No, it doesn't though, sound like the heard. scream. I don't even know why I rolled for that. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you can you go through each and every one's story again? Oh my god. I, I, I want to check the piano. Yeah, let's check the piano. So you walk over to the piano as a group. You inspect it. It's beautiful rosewood piano. Right, is the key fixed? You inspect the keys, pressing each one. As you scale up the keys, you notice that the fourth C key is out of tune. Oh, Mother oh didn't my didn't fix it. God. It's he lied. Uh -oh. It's the maintenance man. Wait, I what does the list say about the maintenance man? So oh, yeah. what the maintenance man had told you was that he was going to grab the tools to fix the piano, and then he heard a scream. Oh, so he never did it yet. He mm. never got to it. Mm. Oh, this is a toughie. 
Damn it. Hmm. All right. You I'm going to do something crazy here. Okay. I want to go back to the carriage and talk to Carl. Okay. All right. So you uh, go out front to the carriage and you meet up with Carl and he goes, uh, how can I help you? I'm sorry for trying to kiss you earlier. You were putting some moves on me and I was misled. Anyway. <laughs> it's all uh, right, man. That happens all the time. We're, we're kind of stumped here. Uh, sure. do, you, do you have any idea what's going on? Well, what's happening? Um, someone died. Okay. And we don't know who did it. Okay. Who did it? Well, I don't know. You're the detectives. I'm just a coachman. Yeah, but who do you Maybe think did it? if you want to give me a little information, I can help you. All right, I relay every single thing that we know to him. <laughs> All right, let's see how good you did. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, you are the clown, so you did a negative three. Oh, no. <laughs> so <laughs> you just, instead of saying everything that you've learned already, you just went... <laughs> 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 All right, I go back inside. I say I try my best, and I tell Charlie to go back out there and do it. As you, <laughs> as you're walking inside, he yells out to you. Heard the piano was out of tune. Best better check them strings, eh? Oh, what the? F How did he know? Wait, let's a go check the piano. We've already checked the piano, what? haven't we? I know. We oh, bring a magnifying strange. glass. You've only, you've only, you've only pressed the keys. Okay, what's inside the piano then? So you inspect the inside of the piano where the fourth C would be, and there's a feather wrapped around a vial lodged into one of the strings. It's oh. inaccessible without tools. I take the hammer and I destroy the piano. Uh, you get a funny feeling that a hammer would not be efficient for this. I take the urn from Carl. What the hell? What? That's my tip to him! <laughs> You're not doing that. That's my, I am Carl and that is my urn. <laughs> All right, I pick Ross up and I beat him against the piano. <laughs> Ross, any resistance? No, I'll take it. Max, you're minus five. Ross, you get a plus two. It's 11 versus a five. A seven, actually. Um, Max, you grab Ross and smack him against the piano. It does not do anything <laughs> for that feather wrapped around the vial. Okay, maybe, maybe we should just convince the maintenance guy to give us his tools. You could also check your bags. Oh, oh let's yeah. check out bags. bags. Oh yeah. Oh well, wait, we, bags we all have bags. The entire time. Yeah, yeah we, we had bags. bags. The entire time. Yeah, right, one by bags. one, I guess we checked. All right, them. everyone checks your bags. Yeah, we yeah. Can yeah. I check a bag for a Bible? <laughs> uh, there's. Hold on. So you check your bag. Uh, each of you have a notepad and a fountain pen, a magnifying glass, a tobacco pipe bag. Uh, I'm sorry, a tobacco pipe, a bag of grinded tobacco, some matches. Um, Charlie has a whistle in his. Ross Ooh. has an abacus in his. Ooh. Max, you have a hammer in yours. What? <laughs> and JP, you have a, <laughs> a quart of gasoline in yours. What? Yes. So, you also have a hand drill, a chisel, and a lockpick set. How the f*** we got a hand drill in the 18th century? Hey, it's century. my lucky hand drill, okay? Do we want to use it for the piano or not? Wait, yeah. everyone has a hand drill. Yeah, we all oh. have a hand drill. I thought it was just for me, my bad. I didn't mean to scream. I give no, 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 Charlie the, this unidentified you have, object You have the, ca bag. the can of gasoline, specifically. Okay, perfect. I would like to give Charlie this unidentified object in my bag. Okay, Max, you hit Charlie. Any resistance? No, no, no resistance. No, no okay. resistance. Like, Max, you yeah. hit Charlie the hammer, and Charlie takes it from you. Thank you for giving me this hammer, Max. What? Yeah. Uh -huh. Right. Okay. Let's uh, let's get this uh, feather wrapped uh, thing. What is this? A vial. vial. That's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get get, get this out. Get this out. How would you like to do it? The gasoline. Let's burn this. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> yeah, oh, let's gasoline. do it. Yes? Burn the, oh. Yeah, burn the piano. JP, would you like to do that? I spill some gasoline on all our, all our toes. What? Why? No. Wait, no. Uh, I'm wild card. He's a wild card. I'm rolling for wild card. It's a pass. <laughs> oh, no. Plus two on it. Still fail. Um, <laughs> you do not do that at all. Okay. It's just... still capped. You can't even get the cap off right now. <laughs> okay. Well, let's, uh, never mind about that. Uh, so let's try using the lock pick to get out. Shimmy it out. You yeah, attempt to, to use a out. lock pick on not a lock and it does nothing. Oh I could shimmy it out, you know? Hmm. The hand drill. I was gonna say, I don't there's, think an abacus. There's another help. tool you had as well. There was? A hand drill and a chisel. Oh! 
I use my notepad and pen. <laughs> okay, you, you're writing now? What would you like mm -hmm. to write? I would like to write chisel equal get out feather thing. Okay, you write that down. Guys, I've got an idea. <laughs> yeah, what if idea. we use What if we use the chisel? I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> you need to use both. You need to use the hand drill and the chisel. I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> Can I roll for nap? Hang on, I need... Yeah, yeah, I'm rolling for nap for Max. It's a minus five because he's a clown. All right, you take a nap, but it's short lived. Okay, we'll we'll use the drill and the chisel. Okay, uh, what side? <laughs> Where would you? How would you like to approach it? Just uh, get the thing out, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just snap the freaking wire? <laughs> <laughs> no. Why not? Because <laughs> that's not what I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I, I take freaking JP's goddamn gasoline and I pour it all over the piano. I JP gasoline. JP resistance. I don't. I was. I wasn't paying attention, so he just takes it without me noticing. Gets it easily. Uh, you know. you take the can of gasoline and you pour it all over the piano. I and go I... over to freaking crying lady, steal her pipe, and throw it on the piano. And I start crying. And I smack her. Oh my god, it's a nat 20. You take the pipe <laughs> that's still smoking and you throw it into the piano. And the piano gets engulfed in flames. And it burns down to ashes, leaving just the single vial with a feather that's unscathed on it. I go back to Michael. I can assure you this is all part of the investigation. <laughs> we will find your murderer. He folds his arm and nods and goes, great work. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So uh, you remove, the, <laughs> you get the feather, the vi the feather that's wrapped around the vial, and the vial appears to have a little bit of liquid left in it. Can mm. I drink it? Yeah, let him drink it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go <laughs> ahead. You, you want to drink it, JP? Yeah, I have immunal gut systems and health like a king. I'm a champ. I can, get, I can handle it. <laughs> oh no! You tr you drink it, realizing it's. Uh, some sort of poison and you spit it out and the liquid lands on the feather and shrivels it up and it looks burnt. You almost drank that. Your yeah. tongue is now slightly burnt as well. I would like to dust the... Oh wait, I can't get... I'm the... I can't do anything, guys. We lost the feather now. <laughs> oh man, that's my bad, dude. I didn't mean Not to spit the on the feather. feather. Guys, I, I, everything I do has a minus five. You guys gotta do... Yeah, oh, okay. Alright, alright. Would you like so, to uh, not be the clown anymore? I would not like to be the clown, yeah. All right. Um, we um, roll for somebody to be the clown. Max, if you roll uh, two out of three over ten, you will not be the clown. Okay. You'll, you'll wisen up. First one's a nat 20. Nice. That should automatically The second one's nah. a 16. You're already there. All right. We're good. Hey, and it's a 13. You're, you're no longer a clown. You've returned, to being, you've returned to being the muscle with plus two on strength rolls. All right. I want to take out my magnifying glass and try to uh, look for fingerprints on the vial. You take out your magnifying glass inspecting the vial for fingerprints, but you don't see anything. Can I clap my hands over it from the dusting I did earlier to kind of lightly put dust on it to see for fingerprints? Okay, uh, you clap your hands on it and some dust falls off onto the vial and it reveals a fingerprint. Ooh, nice Ooh. job, Ross. Woo! Uh, since Ross has the biggest brain, Charlie, convince Ross to go look at everybody's fingerprints to see if one matches. Ross, can you go and look at everyone's fingerprints for me? I can do one better. Can I go and taste everybody's fingers? Ooh. Not the lady in red, can I do that no! one? No! No, Max punch JP. I'm gonna uh, slap him. Slap him yeah, really slap him. hard. Ross, you go around the room tasting everyone's fingers and you can't find a match. Damn it. Wait, wait, in the room. Ooh. Go outside. Yeah. Go outside, yeah. All right, outside I inspect, but not lick. Uh, I'll hit the- Inspect the, what? I'll inspect the, uh, ground not the, the, the groundskeeper and then the maintenance man. Maintenance man's inside. You've checked him. Yeah, yeah. Okay, groundskeeper then. I'm going to go check okay. his thumb. Not taste it, though. That one I don't taste. I don't trust you his You check hand. the groundskeeper's thumb and compare it to what you saw in the vial, and it does not match. Uh-oh. Interesting. Wait, taste the dead guy's thumb. Oh, no. What if he... Oh, Charlie, I... you want to do that? No, but... <laughs> I'll do I it. Lost. Do you want to go do it? I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> go inside and you... <laughs> You taste the dead man's thumb in order to match it to the fingerprint on the vial. It does not match. What? what? Damn. How does it not match? Wait, Ross, go and taste the pig's thumb. Pigs don't have, have thumbs. A thumb. It has a hoof. I believe you. 
Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, what we need to do, split up, look for clues. Someone take Scooby-Doo with us. And what Scooby-Doo, you'll not find out in the 19th century, probably. I don't know. All right. Uh, Max, Ross, do you guys want to take upstairs, check all the rooms up there? JP, you and I check the lounge and we'll cuddle on the settee. Uh, hanging in the middle of the room is a wedding dress on a stand. This must be Michelle's room. You search around the room looking for clues. You inspect the wedding dress and you see a dot on the skirt of the dress, but it's hard to make out what it is. I want to take out my magnifying glass and look at the spot. I have a feeling. Okay, you take your magnifying glass out and you inspect the speck. Yep, it's blood all right. You have a feeling you're done in this room. Okay, I found what I'm looking for, Ross. All right, I'm gonna inspect that closet. All right, so you walk over to the smaller door and you check the closet. There's some dust buildup indicating a couple of items are missing. You have a feeling you're done with the closet. I wanna start cleaning it in the meantime. <laughs> okay, you do that, you do that. Okay, the okay, lounge now, guys? Yeah, us two in the lounge, what about that? All right, JP and Charlie, you enter the the west doorway and it leads into the lounge. There's an unoccupied coat rack, a fireplace with a smoking log, a bar with a poured drink resting on it, and the drink looks discolored. Oh. Can we investigate this drink? I think we should. Let's give it a little sniff sniff. And then I could take a sip if you want. Mm, can we do the cuddling first? No. no but, okay, you really don't want to cuddle me that much, okay. Only after the sip. Yeah, I, I think that might be poison, JP. You don't know until we try it. You just don't want to cuddle with me, do you? Do Why won't you love me? Uh, <laughs> you're going to take a sip of the drink. It burns your mouth even more, and you spit it out, and it lands on a book or something, and it shrivels up, and it looks burnt. I you have a feeling so you're done in this room. I think somebody tried to poison him with his drink. It's good. It's good. It's a good yeah, feeling. Good observation. <laughs> Would you guys like to uh, perhaps all meet in the middle to go check yep. out your last location, the basement? Yes. All right, let's yeah. check out our last location. You make your way behind the main staircase, finding a door leading down into the basement. It's locked. Okay. Right, try to open uh, the door. Yeah, I'll, I'll use the lockpick. <laughs> you want to use the lockpick? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, I don't use know if they have the keys or anything, but that's fine. Yeah, I don't know. Rolled a one. <laughs> you no I one. No. I use you know, my lockpick. <laughs> JP, wild card roll. Here we go. It's a plus two. And you rolled a four. You did not pick the lock. <laughs> I try to pick the lock. Okay, Max tries to pick. Oh my God, it's a nat 20. Yes! Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. You pick the lock and the basement door opens up. Could have used Good the keys, job. guys. No, Thank you. The yes, <laughs> it's a little dark down there, though. Perhaps bring a light. Hmm. Where's the gasoline? Oh, wait, we used candle. it. You used my lucky gasoline, you asshole. I'm sorry. We needed to get the, the thing out. You do have matches. Hmm. All right. I light wait, my... Wait. I sniff. Does it smell like gas Ooh. down there? You smell... You sniff in the air? You do not smell gas. All right, go for it. Good catch. Good catch. We go light... for what? We yeah, light our matches. Light, yeah, light the matches. All right, you light your matches up. Uh, that's a nat 20. They're apparently long-lasting matches. Let's go. Yeah. Um, would you like to go down into the basement? Yeah. Charlie first. Make her yeah. way yeah, down. Make Char yeah. yeah, Charlie goes first. I'll go first. Charlie go is first. the leader. I so am as the you leader. enter the basement, the you notice it's occupied by barrels and a wine bottle rack. I see. Does the basement oddly smell like someone was crying in there? <laughs> I'm rolling for it. <laughs> Sniff in the air to see if it smells like tears, but it seems they've dried up and there's no scent of them. Okay, fair. <laughs> what should we look for in here? Ross, any ideas? Can I, can I look um, for a clock? No. <laughs> <laughs> JP! <laughs> Wild card roll! God damn it. It's a plus two? <laughs> I'm I, I'm rolling for you again. I want this to happen. <laughs> God's <damn it. laughs> okay. intervention. Okay, J JP, you have a weird feeling that there's a clock nearby, and you're searching around the floor, and you you find a broken uh, uh, pocket watch on the floor. Oh, Wait. and uh, who was the, the one? Ba that... The back panel of it is hanging off. Who was the one that lost that watch? Wait, what is it? What does it say the in the Butler watch? did. I the check. Did. I checked the back panel. And what, what was in the back panel? Okay, so you search the back of the watch, and there's a folded up piece of paper. Ooh. Oh! I scream the. I read the note and scream it out loud. Okay, you unfold it, and it reads, "Rat poison, pig blood, and spider eyes." He had a spider in his pocket. Oh my god! Wait a minute. The butler did it. 
It's either the butler or the guy killed himself. Why would he? Wait, was He's he writing a to do list? Place. Or was he writing his final list? Oh my okay. God. I think he so now what, you guys have done everything. You feel like you can make an accusation. Would you like to return to the main entrance hall? Yes. I think yes. we got this. You stand in the main entrance hall, surrounded by everyone you've questioned. You've gathered as much evidence as you possibly can find, and it's time to make an accusation. Charlie, so you're the leader. Uh, Here we need a unanimous vote. We need a unanimous vote. So, I... okay. No, 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 this is... I'm, I... I think it's possible the guy could have killed himself. I think that was a suicide note. Like, the checklist of suicide, like, to commit suicide. But, because no one else, everyone, accordingly, everyone was saying they were away from when it happened. So it would make sense. And he, wait, wait, it totally is a f***ing suicide, because he was going to tell his wife he loved her. Yeah, good catch. Oh, was he poisoned is this before unanimous? he could finish? What do, you, what do you think, Charlie? Do you think it was the butler, or do you think he committed suicide? Okay, so Max, you found a speck of blood on the dress. Oh yeah, you? I did find that, yeah. You did. But I get the feeling that could have been from the injury that Nathan got. Because, oh, yeah. freaking oh, think about it. We did not see any freaking blood on the corpse whatsoever. True. It was all poison. No injury yeah. whatsoever. So the blood couldn't have come from him. So oh. I think... Wait, go on, JP. I was going to say... What if he did commit suicide, but we, me and you found poison in his drink in the lounge beforehand, right? Yeah. And there was vial with poison, so maybe he drank the vial near the piano, he fell to his death, dropped the vial in the piano, but somebody was trying to kill him that day, and it was, like, in the lounge. So somebody attempted, but oh. he suicided? If he what killed if himself, was... then, then there's no one to arrest. They didn't kill him. We, yeah, but there was a, that would mean there was an oh. attempted murder. What if there? What if there was an? What if it was an assisted suicide? So Whoa. let's go back to uh, the butler crying in the basement, saying, "I can't do this. I can't do this. Or you can't do this. Something like that." It wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What if the daughter, the lady in the red dress, tried to convince the butler to do it? Oh, or she could marry the butler. Well, no, oh. I, wasn't, I wasn't going there. But <laughs> she doesn't want to marry whoever the other person is. I don't think she yeah, who was it? Butler. Who was it saying that you can't do this or I can't do this? Who yeah, was I saying th the I think it was the butler, wasn't it? The butler was crying. The yeah, James. To the maid the saying, you can't do this, you can't do this, over and over again. But that was more about the maid breaking up with him, essentially. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, <laughs> okay, all right. We, we, we got to come to a conclusion, guys. What do you yeah, think? You guys we... just want to arrest the groundskeeper? I think we need to arrest the chef because if we leave him as he is, he's gonna <laughs> freaking blab and we're gonna get in trouble. Oh, yeah, actually, throw. that's a good point. That's All a right. good point. I'm on board. The chef. Yeah, yeah we're the gonna chef. arrest okay. the chef. Anonymous chef. chef. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna the arrest chef. the chef. If so... we don't arrest him, he's gonna rat us out for what we did to him, okay? He needs to go down. <laughs> he's getting a death penalty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After explaining that you think the chef did it, the chef looks at you, glares at you angry with a broken kneecap, and he takes a big breath in as if he's about to spit out a monologue. But first, you hear, Mom! And everyone looks upstairs, and a boy stands at the top of the stairs, and the old woman yells, Rudy! And <laughs> what? He's a, he's a young man wearing a schoolboy outfit. He's covered in blood, dead spiders, and a yellowish powder. His oh, eyes are glowing what? red. Uh huh. Let's yeah, get the out of here. You know what? Yeah, let's go. We're going. Bye -bye. <laughs> Before you can run, it's a surprise boss fight. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> And he, uh, the boy evilly laughs and begins to grow, ripping his school uniform off and turning into a demon of sorts and yells, You aren't taking me anywhere. I killed my father because it was fun, not because of a motive. And the I room clears you. except you guys to fight him. Begin. Wait, I, I was right. This place was haunted, dude. It it's not ghost. a ghost, you idiot. It's a demon. Oh, can I can I sacrifice myself to make sure every my my friends are safe? Actually, yeah, I vote we I vote we just let JP sacrifice himself and we all leave. Roll. JP yeah. gets plus two. <laughs> he gets a nineteen. JP, you critically su successfully uh, sacrifice yourself to the demon, burning up uh, and oh. doing uh, seventy five percent damage to him. Is JP dead JP's, now? JP's dead. <laughs> 
I want to I want to grab the beach. hammer and throw it at him. Oh my god. Okay, okay. you take the hammer purple. and throw it at the demon. It's a one. I, it just bounces off of him and does nothing. I want to say something to him that his father never did. Okay, go ahead. Rudy? I think that's his name. Yep. I'm proud of you. Holy sh! <laughs> Rudy, Rudy realizes the the effect of those words and shrinks back down to his normal <laughs> self, and he's passed out. His go, mother runs over to aid him. The rest of the mansions. The and yeah, I want to go kill him. I'm gonna go kill him. I got the other hammer. I want to have it. Let me kill the kid. I want to kill the kid. <laughs> You're not killing the kid. I'm sorry. Let you kill what the kid. Roll for it. I'm roll the leader. For it. I'm the leader. Kill the kid. I'm rolling for it. Oh my god. You smack oh, no. the kid in the head <laughs> with the hammer, killing him. The whole thing. Wait. Everyone is so <laughs> Bad. The rest of the mansion's inhabitants stand in shock and awe, and you look around the room as if you did a good job. Now then... arrest the chef. Arrest the chef. <laughs> arrest you, the you chef. You take your handcuffs, and I forgot to give you handcuffs, but now you have them. Uh, you take your handcuffs, and you you put the chef. And as you're as you're handcuffing him, three loud knocks are heard at the door. And the maid, Valentina, walks over to answer it and opens it. And a priest stands at the entrance holding a cross and says, Hello, uh, I received a letter about an exorcism needing to take place at this residence. That will no, no longer be necessary. Uh, quest complete. Good <laughs> job, guys. Wait! <laughs> I take the chef's hat. You take the chef's hat. He's so he can't resist. You, you put it on your head. It's glorious. Another job done for the piss hey boys. I hope you liked it. Go make oh. yourselves. <laughs> Thank you, Dom. Woo! Round of applause for Dom. Thanks for enjoying Thank it. Appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. God bless oh you. Have a happy Halloween.